or Lynn here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Happy Monday to everyone. I hope all is well with everyone and that everyone had a wonderful weekend. Look who's back here just a panting away and looking at us. <laughs> then Sophie laying there. You can see her the white tips on her toes. She always has a pretty French manicure happening. She's got white tips on all of her all of her toes. Uh, she's had a pretty good weekend. I was going to come back and give you guys a big fat update that she's doing much better and she was and she had about three days there where she was really had a had a had a um, where she really had a spring in her step and um, she was feeling much better. Uh, last couple of days she has not been doing all that wonderfully. She as you know, we just had blood work done on her, and she's, you know, her blood work came back great. But she has really been hippy hop, hippity hopping around here a lot. She's having more trouble getting up and down. And this morning she woke up with a little bit of the runs. Woke Chris up at 3 in the morning. It, Armageddon would have to happen, I'm telling you, to wake me up. It's Other than one of my kids. Or if he wasn't here, and I knew he wasn't here, and I needed to take care of the dogs. You know, he would, I would wake up then, but I didn't hear her. She came into the bedroom apparently boofing at him, got him up, and had to let her out at about 3 o'clock this morning. So, she's not feeling her best. So, we're just taking it one day at a time, like I said, just one day at a time with Miss Sophie. And we're just going to hope and pray that, you know, whatever her days are, that we can keep her feeling good and out of pain. And we had medicine to give her to help her with her little tummy issues and Chris just brought her in and said she was out there eating grass so we know her tummy's not feeling too good today so I don't know what's going on but anyway I'm here to um, as I said give you a little bit of a haul and then I'll take you into the dining room and, we'll, and I'll show you what's going on in there so I have a haul from two different places uh, let me see I think I'll start with and that first so I was there just this morning and I said Chris needed to run to Lowe's which is close to our and that or the Christmas shop for those of you who don't know the Christmas shop and and that are the same thing uh, and I don't know why some are called and that or some are called the Christmas at the Christmas shop I have no idea why that is but he had to run to Lowe's and get some lime or something he was getting and I said well just drop me off at uh, and that and I'll run in there and look around I said I don't expect that I'll find anything you know but I was wrong plus my little payment from YouTube I'm making a little bit of money just a little bit not a lot but it easily covered both of these little hauls here that I'm going to show you today easily so I don't feel so bad about buying a few things because it's I'm kind of paying for it myself which is kind of cool of course it all goes in the same kitty Christmas money my money we never look at it that way never 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 uh, but you know, it's kind of nice to know that I kind of made enough money to cover, easily cover this. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, let me start with this. When you walk in the door, they have all these uh, picks right as you walk in. So I got this little snowman that says, Snow Place Like Home for $7. It's kind of hard to show you, so I'll kind of show him sideways to you. Snow place like home. <laughs> so he will either go, I think I'm going to put him right by my front steps, I believe. So he was cute. Just to stick in the ground. So I got him. And then as I continued on, the next thing I found was this little, it's just a little jar. It's just like a little... A pretty little jar and it looks like it's got like something applique on the back of it like Christmas trees but I like how it looks from the front look at that you can see the trees kind of in the background so I'm not even sure whether I'll put too much in this or whether I'll just display it like this with like a candle burning beside it or something I'm not sure what I'll do with this I thought it was really pretty with like the flocked Christmas tree there and you guys, it was $1.99. Isn't that pretty? So, 
so I just thought that was so pretty. Caught my eye. $1.99, you know? What the heck? And then next, I thought this little guy was just as cute as a button. Check out this little owl. <laughs> oh, my lighting is terrible again. Let me see if I can get him up close enough. There we go. Look how pretty. <laughs> he was $7.99. You can see the tag there. It says the Christmas shop. Christmas tree shop. Got some blingy feet on him there. I thought he was adorable. Or she. Whatever. So this will obviously be put into my front room, and either in the living room or dining room, because that's my colors, whites and silvers and all kinds of stuff like that. Greens. All right, next thing was this little family of snowmen. Look. <laughs> little carolers. Looks like the daddy and the mama and the two little kids. Uh, that was apropos since we have two children. So I got that and this was $6.99. It's like resin, I would guess. And then I'm going to go try to turn out these lights because this is driving me crazy. Maybe a little, huh? All right. And let's see. Next, I found... As I've told you guys, I'm hosting, or we are hosting Christmas Eve here. And I found these. I thought these were really cute. Uh, do y'all remember Fallscraft? I used to have a bunch of Fallscraft. Unfortunately, I did not have, I'm trying to take a tag off, sorry, this pattern. But this is the Winterberry pattern, their Christmas pattern. And they had a bunch of that out in, no, no like plates and, uh, saucers and bowls, but they had like serving dishes and like these little spoon holders. I know we're going to have a couple crock pots going on Christmas Eve, so I thought I would get just, I have two of them. I bought two of them. So I thought these would be good to lay our spoons in, our stirring spoons and whatnot, and then maybe pull them over to the serving dishes and uh, set a couple here and there for the serving dishes. I thought they were cute, and they were $4.99 each, which isn't bad for Falls Craft. That's not bad. So, and I found these two little dudes. <laughs> and I know where I'm going to put these. I bought these for, just set up in my, in my kitchen windows, as a matter of fact. Let me see if I can find you a picture of the way I put together my Christmas windows. I don't know whether it'll be exactly like this for next year, but take a look and see. As you can see, I have plates that sit on either end, and I thought these little dudes would be really cute. They're kind of tall and skinny, snowmen. Merry Christmas. And I thought they'd be cute on, either, you know, kind of the anchor, the ends of the either side of the windows. $2.99 a piece. <laughs> you can't beat the prices. And I thought they were cute. They're wooden, you know. I thought they were adorable. So I got those, and they had a bunch of ribbon on sale. Like, I need any more ribbon. I need more ribbon like I need a hole in the head, you guys. I have more ribbon than Carter has pills, as my mother used to say. <laughs> I do not need any more ribbon, but it was $1.99, you guys, per bolt, per roll. I'm like, $1.99, and it's like it's a... Uh, Two and a half inches by 10 yards. That's not bad. I mean, you know, that's not bad. So $1.99, I'll take it. So I got two. I didn't like, they had a lot of like uh, true red and uh, kind of a limey green plaid. And they had, you know, like really bright Christmas colors. So if you if your decor is like that, you might want to stop into your Christmas shop or and that if you have one because they had a lot of ribbon that would probably go 
with that kind of decor. They also had some uh, pinks, I believe, and pink and green plaid and, you know, some different looking ribbon. It was pretty. It was all pretty, but it wasn't, I, I didn't use, I couldn't use any of the more traditional colors. I have enough of that, as you all know, and you have seen in the last week, but I thought I would go ahead and pick up Here's one snowflake. Let me see if I can get it close enough to you. White with snowflakes on it. Remember that solid white I bought to go on the lantern decor? I thought one of these might be pretty. I don't know. I, you know, I'll see when I go to do my stuff what, I, what hits my fancy that day. But I got two kind of, they're not exactly the same, but they're similar kind of uh, snowflakes, white and silver. Let's see if you can see through them. I don't think you can see through them. I don't think they're... Maybe a little bit. They're not real, real see-through. They're pretty. Very, very pretty. So I got those two. And then I got these plaid. And so I thought these were so pretty. Kind of bring the country back, back in. Just white and silver plaid. Aren't they pretty? It's like, wow. I really love that, and crit, crit, they have them in like those flat boxes, you know, that they come in. I am so sorry, you guys, please excuse my hair. I go to get my hair colored, this, I believe it's Thursday. It can't come soon enough. It is, when my hair gets to the point where it needs to be colored, I just go flat and it gets yucky. So I'm really sorry, I apologize. <laughs> anyway, they had them in these uh, flat boxes, you know, that just held, I don't know, maybe 30 bolts of ribbon in each one and Chris was lifting them up and I was looking and he'd lift up two and I was looking and he was grabbing things out. <laughs> he said which ones do you want I said the plaid ones he says huh I said let me look I'll get it <laughs> we, we were we were laughing it was funny anyway we make a good team wherever we are what can I say by the way I got two of the plaid once we found them so I thought they were pretty and of course, I'm always thinking those funky bows, you guys, you know. And then I just got this one. And I thought that was so pretty. Remember that wreath I showed y'all last week in the turquoise colors? Thought I would incorporate this into, in fact, I very well, I might, I don't know. No, I probably can't. I was going to say I might replace the bow on that with a funky bow. I'll have to see when I get it out and see if I could, you know, put together a funky bow to go in there. But I believe I put that ribbon around through there. We'll have to see. But anyway, I thought that was pretty. So four, four rolls of ribbon. And then just a couple more things from and that. Remember I've been saying I need to find a runner for here on my island, a 72 inch runner. Well, I found one and then I found another. <laughs> found this one first and these were $10 a piece. This is the first one I picked up, which I really love, and I will use somewhere in the burgundies and whatnot. Believe in the magic. And it's got snowmen and Christmas trees, and then it's also got mittens. A red stockings, Christmas tree. Aren't that cute? So I thought, how cute is this? And it's nice, you guys. And let's see what the back of it looks like. It's just brown on the back. It has a touch of yellow in it, just a touch. And this countertop is called Santa Cecilia Gold. And in some lights, you can really see the gold kind of coming out of this. So I thought just a touch of yellow would help to kind of pull that out a little bit. So that was one of them. And I had this in my cart and I was bebopping along. And then all of a sudden, I looked to the right and check it out. I was like, you got to be kidding me in that. I didn't think I was going to find anything in here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So this will definitely be the one probably to go on here. And I'll use this other uh, one either over on the uh, family room credenza or here on my ivy table, one or the other. But I just thought this was so pretty. And it's just on the either end, you know, the cardinals on either end. But I do have a uh, 
you know, I always put a centerpiece here. So the centerpiece will take it up and then I'll use, I have some cardinals that I can use to anchor the corners, I believe. If I did not bury them in with my regular decor. Hmm. I think I held them out, but I'm not sure. But anyway, hopefully I'll be able to find them so I can pull the cardinals into the centerpiece here. Anyway, but that was it from And That. I spent $70, $73 on all that, and I thought that was pretty good. Five, bold, five rolls of ribbon, you know, little carolers, a pretty owl, two runners, two table runners, my goodness, for 10 bucks. The ones I saw online, I was getting frustrated. I, at home, or I mean, excuse me, Home Goods does not have their Christmas stuff in, their runners and stuff in yet around here. And I was like, I'm getting frustrated because that's usually where I buy my runners. And I, I was like, I want to find a runner. And I am so glad I walked in there because this is perfect. This is what I was looking for. Something, well, I didn't know I was looking for cardinals, but when I saw them, I was like, well, hello. You know, that's what I wanted. So, anyway, that's all from and that. And then yesterday, uh, we were in Lowe's because Chris is making me picture frame wainscoting. And he was in there looking for materials to do that. So I was, I said, drop me off at the Christmas shop, please. And he was like, oh, really? <laughs> you want to go to the Christmas shop, Arlen? And I was like, shut up. Just leave me alone. Let me go. <laughs> so he dropped me off there. And the very first thing I saw, one of the very first things I saw, and as, you, as I said, I'm not going to be doing a red truck decor in here. But obviously, I'm going to have a couple of things that have the red truck uh, displayed. One of which, another of which, is this little red truck. Isn't that cute? This thing, though, it was, it was seven. I have the receipt here. Seven ninety-eight for this. I was like, almost didn't buy it because I thought that's eight dollars. That's a lot. I felt like it was. I mean, it's sturdy. It's nice. It's, I think it's wooden, and it's nice. Got a little cork there on the, you know, for the bottom of the tree. I thought, but I was like, you know what? Eight dollars for that. I was a little bit pricey for my taste, but I thought, well, I want it, so I got it. Anyway, I thought that was cute. And then, last but not least, for those of you who have been with me for a while, you know that when I do my uh, Christmas centerpieces, lantern centerpieces, I have a, like a snow globe kind of a candle to go in those. And I always get asked where I got them. And I got them at Lowe's. And I want to let you know that they definitely have them in there. And I have a picture on my phone. And if I can get it off my phone, I will definitely insert it here. Uh, so if you want those, and I'll reiterate this when I go to do my Christmas decor, which is going to be pretty quick here, you guys. I don't know about next week, but definitely the next week. I'm going to start getting this house, you know, taking all of this stuff down, and I'm going to do, I'm digressing here, and I have one more thing to show you, but forgive me, I'm going to say this one thing while it's on my mind here. I'm going to do my Christmas series just like I did my fall series. I'm going to finish the fall series, actually, by showing you how I put all of this stuff away and how I organize it. What I do, you guys, literally, is I take everything down and I take it over there onto the family room rug and I sit there with all of my bins sitting around me in a semicircle and I wrap things up and I put them away. I'm very careful when I put my centerpiece stuff away and I label the, the Ziploc bags and I'm very organized when it comes to this stuff. I have to be. If I'm not organized with all of this decor, you guys, I would be a blithering idiot. Not that I'm not sometimes, <laughs> but oh my goodness, it's just so much. I get a little bit overwhelmed. So I will probably finish my fall series out by doing that, or that will be the very first episode. That'll probably be the first episode in my Christmas series. And then I will take you down in the basement again, and we'll start down there, and I'll show you all of my bins for Christmas and how I store them and where I put everything. And that will be episode one, probably. And then I'm just going to start making episode after episode after episode for you guys. And we're going to go through this house, one room, one centerpiece, 
one read well i'm not making reads i don't believe this year you guys we'll have to go we'll have to i'll have to refer you back to reads that i've already made and maybe some voiceovers i know one wreath i, I made last for last year a couple that i made for last year that i can refer you back to and i have some voiceovers that i can refer you to uh but just because i don't i don't need any reads i don't believe i may need one for uh the light post out front but I don't think so because I, I just put the green pine uh, wreaths with just a big burgundy bow on them. I don't make my bows either. I, I purchased bows. I bought double burgundy bows uh, last year. Big ones, big fat bows for outside. So but anyway, that is going to be starting probably not next week, but the next week after that. So anyway, okay. So I wanted to let you know about that in my Christmas series. So but then the last thing that I found, as you probably saw in that picture, you probably eyed it in that picture, is this snow globe, red truck, carrying trees. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look at that. It looks like a lantern. Get it back. Isn't that cute? I have no idea where I'm going to put this. I may sit it on this counter here with my uh, red car cookie jar or red truck cookie jar. That'd be cute sitting next to it, maybe. I don't know. But it'll go somewhere. I just thought it was, I couldn't resist it. I thought it was so cute. Really, really cute. So that's it. That's my complete haul. I'm excited that I got some more Christmas stuff. I cannot wait to start decorating, you guys. I gotta stop shopping and start. I might as well just start, you know, before Halloween. I can't do it before Halloween. I just can't do it. <laughs> I gotta get Halloween out of the way. Not that I do a lick of Halloween decor, and I'm really sorry about that for those of you who might have liked to see some Halloween decor. I just don't do Halloween. I'm not, that's not my favorite. Sorry, I don't want to insult anybody, but I would rather just do the fall all the way through. Now that my girls are up and grown, and I don't have any grandkids, so. Uh, all right, that's it. One other announcement before I get behind the camera and walk into the dining room and show you what's going on in there. Uh, is that Davida Lane uh, got in touch with me over the weekend and we have set a date for our Christmas home tour collab and that will be oh. Friday, December the 1st. And I'm not sure of all the people who are going to be involved quite yet, uh, but I of course will let you know when I know and I have a final list of those who will be you know, participating. But I believe Davina said she had has asked about three or four others and had gotten yeses from a couple. So a couple, three, four. So we'll see. It might be a big group. And more for you guys to go and look at and, and see what's what. I will say that I will not be doing a home tour in my series until that tour. Uh, I'm going to hold back my home tours and do one big, huge home tour that will probably be an hour long because <laughs> I'll start, start out at my mailbox and work my way up the driveway and down the sidewalk and then in and go through all the house. Now, of course, you will have already seen all of the spaces that I, you know, that I decorated, but that will be the first time that I'll, you know, explain this, you know, the spaces and do a, a, a home tour format, kind of. So that's about it. I think you guys know all that I know <laughs> now. I need to pause and say thank you to all of my old subscribers, subscribers that have been with me for from the very beginning, some that have only been with me for half the time I've been on YouTube, and for those of you who have just subscribed. Thank you so much. I just checked this morning. I am now up over 5,700 subscribers oh my gracious you guys I've been on YouTube one year in about a week now <laughs> or two weeks you know I, I I am so blessed to have every single one of you who have subscribed thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you also for all the positivity that you guys bring back to me uh, the only time that you're probably going to ever see me be negative is when I'm a little bit upset about an illness maybe that's going on in the family or one of, you know, our dogs has an issue or something like that. But you're never going to hear me be a negative Nancy as I walk through my life. 
You know, we all have trials and tribulations that we go through every day. And, you know, I try to look at my glass half full and never half empty. There are days that I'm sore, my joints are sore, my what, da 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 da, you know, whatever. I'm getting older. <laughs> and, you know, I'm getting a little crickety in my older age here, not really too much. I'm very blessed. Uh, but, you know, I just try to start out each day with a positive attitude and with a happy heart, you know? Being down in the dumps and negative and complaining and all of that stuff does no, doesn't do anybody any good. Certainly not me. And so I try always to be upbeat and happy and joyful. And I am so joyful about this channel of mine. It has blessed me beyond measure. You always say that I've blessed you and I so appreciate it when you say that. Oh my goodness. But you guys have blessed me every single day, every single time that you guys leave a comment. And I try my best. You guys know I do. I try my very best to get back to everybody individually. Please know if I don't, and I know I've said this before, but I want to reiterate this because I never want to hurt anybody's feelings. Never in a million years that would be the last thing I want to do is hurt anybody's feelings by not getting back with a comment but I get a little bit overwhelmed I have to admit sometimes because I get a lot of comments you guys and they're they bless me every single one I read every single one I love you guys so much for leaving me such wonderful words and I don't want to ever hurt anybody's feelings by not getting back but there are times when I just have to put down my computer and say I'm tired and I've got to stop for now you know and there are times and you guys know this that I'll go back and try to revisit and 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 do comments here and there each time I pick up my computer but I'm a busy lady I got a lot of irons in my fire here so uh, please know that I send you guys hearts when I send it a heart it's a heartfelt heart it's not just oh, I'm sending them a heart it's not that I feel it I send you a heart you know so, anyway, I'm yammering. What's new? <laughs> but I just wanted to pause and say thank you. 5,700, you guys, my gracious. And it was like 5,700, and then it was like 5,705. And the next thing I looked, it was like 5,721 or something. I don't know what it is now. I'm like, what in the world is going on? I just, uh, you know, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the bottom of my heart. All right, enough of that. I'm going to grab my camera well, one thing I wanted to say I did take some uh, footage of our trees that are are trying to change colors here and I'm gonna put that at the end of this video and just you know take you on a little ride and little snippets of some pretty trees that I saw and then I do a little bit of something in the backyard so I'm gonna blow you my kiss right now and of course I'll say my thing after I'm done in the dining room showing you all that and uh, say my thing I say all the time <laughs> But I guess that's it. I think that's all I had for you today. So I love it. I'm going to grab my phone and I'm going to walk on into the dining room and show you what's been done and what is going to get done in there. And that'll probably be my next video that comes to you, the finished dining room. But anyway, I'll be right back behind the camera. Okie dokie, everybody. Here we are in the dining room. Let me step back if I can here. We've got, I'm going to try to move slow. We've got stuff sitting all in the living room now. <laughs> all the chairs and everything. But there is the dining room. I'm going to turn on the light in a minute. But I wanted to show you the color without the lights on. This is called Grage. And it is a Sherwin-Williams color called Perfect Grage. But... We got it from Home Depot, and the paint that we are using is uh, B-E-H-R, Bear. We had them match that gray, so it's not exactly that color, but it is close. And as you can see here, underneath the chair rail, Chris has got everything drawn out, and he is going to be working on the, well, hello there, Sam. That's Sam. Hi, buddy. What you doing, buds? Hi. Come say hi. Come say hi.
say hi. He's not going to come past that. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> well, all right. Come on this way. Come say hi, bud. Hi, buddy. Good boy. What you doing? You good boy. He's such a big bear. Such a big bear. Anyway, Chris has got it all drawn out, and he is going to be cutting up his pieces, he said, for picture frame wainscoting. And we are going to paint the entire underneath the chair rail and above the floor molding. It's going to be painted white, the same white as the trim. So all the pictures I've looked at, like on Google Images and things like that, I like that look the best. So it's going to be white on white, kind of down there. And then up here, I asked Chris to paint the ceiling just inside the tray ceiling, the grayish. And then as you can see, there is molding up in there too. So the ceiling would be the grayish and then the molding and then that little lip that kind of comes down, that will be grayish. So, but you can see we have all the furniture in the middle of the room. I took all these down. These were on top of my big hutch. I took them down and washed them off. I hadn't washed those and I hate, I'm embarrassed to say how long. It's been a long time. <laughs> but all this stuff is out in the middle of the floor, as you can see. And he's got all his walls marked up and ready to be, have all this stuff installed. I can't wait. And then we'll paint. It's going to be pretty, you guys. I hope, anyway, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it's going to look okay when it's all said and done. I'm really looking forward to it, though. So then we'll have the living room over there and this dining room all complete. All right, I guess that's it for today, you guys. As I said, the next video will probably be, hopefully, of this finished room. So we'll see. Hopefully, but I don't know when. Either Wednesday or Thursday, probably. At the very earliest Wednesday, probably evening. <laughs> At the earliest. So, but as you can tell, we're working hard in here. Uh, also, while I'm here, I wanted to tell you, I've written, I'm going to put a link in the description for, I have finished my a complete uh, northbound Voyage of the Glaciers blog. Uh, that part of my blog series, my Alaska series, uh, is complete, and I've started on the southbound cruise now because we did a back-to-back, -back, as you guys know. So I'll put a link in the description to a page that will take you to every link. It'll give you a link to every one that I've made. I think I've done, I'm on episode 10 on that now. But anyway, that's it for this day. I hope everyone has a great evening. I'm going to try to get this up today on Monday, and I will catch you guys later on this week. Love y'all. Until next time, you're to good.